Al-Mumtahana, she that is to be examined, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. O you who believe, do not take those who are enemies of me and to you for friends. Would you send them messages of love and friendship while they have denied the truth that has come to you and have driven out the messenger and yourselves from your homes merely because you believe in Allah, your Lord? How can you do so if you migrated indeed to strive in my cause and seek my pleasure? Would some of you make secret offers of friendship and love to them, while I am fully aware of all that you conceal and all that you profess openly? And whoever of you does such a thing, let him realize that he has indeed strayed away from the right path. If they, your so-called friends from the disbelievers, somehow get the upper hand of you, they will turn out to be active enemies to you and will lay their hand on you and lash you with their tongues to do you harm, and they ardently desire that you should disbelieve. Neither your kinfolks nor your children will be of any good to you on the day of resurrection. He, your true Lord, will separate you one from another and decide between you. And Allah is a keen observer of all you do. There is indeed a noble example for you to follow in Abraham and his companions. Behold, they said to their people, We have nothing to do with you, and we disown that you worship apart from Allah. We disapprove of all that you say and do. A long-lasting type of enmity and rancor has arisen and become apparent between you and us, no doubt. It will last till you believe in Allah alone. But you have no example to emulate in the words of Abraham to his sire. When he said, I will surely ask forgiveness for you from Allah, though I can do nothing against the will of Allah. Abraham and his companions also prayed to their Lord, Our Lord, in you we put our trust, and to you alone do we turn in repentance and towards you alone is the final return. Our Lord, do not allow that we have to face ordeals at the hands of the disbelievers, thus providing them pleasure at our cost, and protect us against the consequences of our faults. Our Lord, for you alone are the Almighty, the All-Wise. Surely you have a noble example to follow in these people, and also for everyone who hopes to see Allah and also fears him and the last day. And he who turns away from following it should know that Allah is truly self-sufficient, free from all needs, and praiseworthy in his own right. It is well nigh that these disbelievers embrace the faith, and thus Allah may establish goodwill between you and those of them with whom you are at enmity at present. For Allah is all-powerful and Allah is great protector, ever merciful. Allah does not forbid you to be kind and good and to deal justly with those who have not fought you because of your faith and have not turned you out of your homes. In fact, Allah loves those who are equitable. Allah only forbids you to make friends with those who have fought you because of your faith and who have turned you out of your homes and have abetted your expulsion. Indeed, those who make friends with them are really the unjust. O oh, you who believe, when the believing women come to you having fled their homes, examine them. Allah knows best the state of their faith. If you ascertain them to be true believers, do not send them back to the disbelievers. These believing women are not lawful wives to those disbelievers, nor are they lawful husbands to these women. You shall, however, give them, their former disbelieving husbands, what they have spent on them. And you will be doing nothing unlawful if you marry these women after you have given them their dowries and do not hold matrimonial ties with the disbelieving women. Should they join the disbelievers, you can claim what you have spent on them. 
so can the disbelieving husbands claim that which they have spent on these believing women. This is the judgment of Allah. He implements this judgment between you. Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. If any part of the dowries of your wives has passed over to the disbelievers from you, and then your turn comes to pay to the disbelievers when a woman from the disbeliever's side comes over to you, give to those whose wives have come over an amount equal to that which they have spent. Keep your duty to Allah in whom you believe. Prophet When women come to you after having believed, and they take the oath of allegiance that they will not associate anything with Allah, and that they will not steal, and will not commit fornication and adultery, nor kill their children, nor bring forth a scandalous charge which they themselves have deliberately forged, nor disobey your just and rightful orders, then accept their allegiance and seek Allah's protection for them. Indeed, Allah is great protector, ever merciful. O you who believe, do not make friends with a people who have incurred the displeasure of Allah. They are indeed despaired of the hereafter, since they have no faith in it, just as the disbelievers are despaired of those who are in the graves, as they do not believe that the dead will ever come to life again.